Hello and welcome to a new tutorial about how to structure Blender for your architectural uh, design. And this is about the scene. So we had the hierarchies, we had uh, the layers, and now it's with uh, the scenes. And the scenes is about versioning of uh, your uh, design. So let's uh, say this is a layout uh, one and uh, start with it. So uh, instead of creating new things, we simply link it to our uh, library in uh, file, file uh, 32. Go there, get this object, free its uh, geometry, make a proxy. Now we have this object. We can <coughs> uh, quickly link it. Plus Y, so we have two of them, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's link the rest, the sun, the plane, link them, keep them where they are, or make uh, the sun a proxy so that we can move the sun. So, but this should work now and give a nice uh, rendering. Yes, here we are. That's good. Um, so, this is our layout one. So, we can add different alternatives. For example, we can simply have a new layout, then we have a blank field, and now we can start again. So, getting all this stuff from uh, the external library, but we can have links not only to an external library but to another layout, to another version. This is what, uh, how it works. So let's say this is layout uh, number two, it was fresh. So, and we want to get the sun, so the plane, this, the plane, the sun, and this object is the uh, linked copy uh, to our uh, other scene. This is done with Control L and we copy this to layout number three. If we go there, we are here. So link means, like always, that everything what we have here is linked. So which means this is just um, another incarnation of the same object. So we're moving here. It's moving in layout one uh, as well. So now it's here. And it's the same. So if we want to decouple it, the simplest way is uh, simply a duplication. Then it's done or a dupli link. And uh, now we see all the scenes, by that it's getting a little confusing. We go for the actual, the, the actual scene. So, and uh, delete this prototype. There's a linked one. Delete it. And then this copy is free now. Now this is a little disturbing. We have to uh, watch out that, or, uh, yeah. Be aware that with this new scene we have other defaults. Go to Zyper Renderer, go to the Snap, and what's very important, go to the Color Management, uh, Film Logic, uh, Base Contrast to get proper uh, renderings. So, but, but I think this. So now, if we uh, now we get good rendering, yes. And um, if we move this guy here, it's grid, but now it's really grid, but it's off grid, so it's a little too grid. And this is not connected to uh, the old one. So, and, but for example, with the sun, go here, go for the layout, we say render. Sun is coming from this side. This is a proper rendering. So go to layout one, the same sun, 
Now, if we change the sun and that's rotation, for example, to this, or coming. And that change it to another direction. You see, because it's the, the sun is linked, our other layout has the same change of the sun position. Good. Good. Now, whatever we are doing is in a new version. So we can, for example, import um, import uh, type 3. Now it's here. Free that again. Make proxy. So now we have this. And uh, link y and we have here. Now we have two different layouts which share the same prototypes, instantiating them, and so on. Good. Next way. So this is how to make a, a new scenes from, uh, from scratch. So you can have copy settings. So then we have cycles render up all these things that we missed. This was copy settings, so that's fine. Little. So and now, if we say we want to have that and we want to link these objects, then everything is linked in a new version, which means, as we discussed, so now we are in the copy of uh, that. If these are, it's the same. It's the identity of the other object in the underli underlying layer. A layout. So if we move him, yes. Of course, it's the same here. So if we go about here, go to layout one. It's the same. We can go back here in layout one, and it's uh, connected to. Uh, Copy of that. And again, if we want to decouple that, make a duplication and uh, delete the original, now move it and it's not affected uh, in the other one. This is still linked. You see that. So if we If we go here for linked object data, that's uh, another interesting story. So then we copy the we we link meshes and materials. We don't um, uh, link the architectonics or the uh, topography of things. So this is what we can model with the objects here. If we don't link meshes and materials and but you you don't link uh, the objects but you link the uh, data and the material so therefore we have we, we create a fresh um, a fresh object to show that and this good position so this is our cube uh, give that a new material. It's a new one. It's a new one. Good. If we now I go for linked object data. We have a new version, so it's really identical again to our old one. This is a new version. So 
which means I can move all the architecture and this is not affecting the old one. But if I uh, if I change the color or the material, for example, um, if for example I go to aubergine, this is affecting the the uh, older prior version because this is linked, still linked, and. So we can go back. So I don't accept that on this prior level. So we want to have it back. So then this version says okay. And now the same with the mesh. So if I go in, the mesh can be edited. If I go in and um, move this mesh like this, this is inherited back and forth. So, and fourth, so like the color. So, third version of copying is a full copy which uh, gives data and um, material and object free. So, it's a full copy. And then we are completely decoupled. Now we are in the third version. If I now go uh, to this mesh and change it back. So if I now look for the older version, it's uh, the older version, which is in sync with this version. So that's about the uh, versioning of your uh, designs and the tools presented by a blender to support that. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next uh, video.